If you're using a mushroom supplement, I'm guessing you want mushrooms and not rice or oats. And there is an ever ongoing debate between mycelium on grain and fruiting body and arguing as to which is better. So the first thing that you need to look out for is whether or not the supplement is made from fruiting body or whether it's made from MOG. Now MOG stands for mycelium on grain. This is a cheap and easy way to grow mushrooms by basically allowing the mycelium to grow out on a sterile grain and then grinding it up into a powder. This results in something that is mostly just grain starch. The other option is to use the fruiting body, which involves growing the mushrooms to completion. Now, fruiting body is just a fancy term for mushroom. Mushrooms contain high levels of beneficial compounds, so even though it's a lot harder to do, it's totally worth it. The caveat here is that mycelium actually can be beneficial and is perfectly reasonable to use in a supplement. The problem with mog or mycelium on grain is the grain part of it and the fact that there is such a high level of starch in the final product. 